Do you need police, fire, or ambulance? I'm sorry, FBI yeah, Chamber. Let's get a full bus. Full bus is on its side. Do you know about any pin-ins or injuries? Yes, ma'am. There is students. The bus was full of students, and students are everywhere. Okay, and are you involved in it? Oh, I'm a bystander. I saw it happen. Okay, you saw it happen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we have everyone on the way, okay? County, this is RF engine 3, so it's on scene. 10-4, I'm seeing 817. Yeah. County, this is RF engine 3, we're on scene. We have two buses, one on its side, multiple injuries. Let's go ahead and put everybody on standby in the county. Let us assess the scene, we'll be right back with you. The planning actually started last year when we had our last training event in uh, coordination with the Tyler Fire Department where we did some hands-on with fire extinguishers and so forth. And then as we began to speak with the, the three or four that were involved in that with the city emergency services, we decided that it'd be a great thing if we could get all of Tyler ISD to participate in a countywide emergency drill. And so originally there were five of us that got together and started brainstorming what we needed to do. And uh, as a result, we came up with this railroad disaster drill where Union Pacific brought in a train. We had a bus that uh, was not able to continue to be in service. It had a crack frame. So we determined that we'd go ahead and use that bus, take all the usable parts off of it. So basically they just got an empty shell. And then uh, we got uh, about 85 students from John Tyler and Robert E. Lee to volunteer to play the victims. The purpose was for them to actually be a part of the emergency disaster drill and be as realistic as possible, which gave our students a chance to actually put their acting skills uh, in play. And actually we told them basically you can't come out of character until we tell you to come out, which made it kind of in some ways a little bit difficult for some of the firefighters because they actually went into character and stayed in character. We were very impressed with TISD with working relationship with them, uh, especially with the students. Um, as I said, my wife is an ex-principal uh, and she commented about how um, precise that all the students were on what they were supposed to do. They were, they were given an assignment and they worked at 100%. And she also uh, was telling me how well coordinated TISD was when it came to tracking students and basically having students under control. I uh, know the control is not a good word, but the students were very well behaved. I had a lot of comments from uh, first responders on the scene about how well the students acted their part, yet they were very disciplined in what they did. When I saw the scene, uh, the scene looked very real to me uh, as far as the students, uh, you know, as far as what happened. And uh, in my mind, uh, actually, I, I'd hate to think if that was really real, but uh, it, it was, a, it was a, a challenge to me because I'd never seen that before. And uh, to, to be able to, to deal with that, uh, I, I was grateful that it was um, it was a, a, a mock scene. I think they helped with all our drivers and monitors so they could see what it would really be like if something like this should actually happen. You know, a lot of us, we, we train on this, and we, we, we talk about it all the time, but we never really see anything like this. I think, it, I think it opened up a lot of eyes to a lot of people that work here. And I got a, myself, I heard a lot of positive response out of it that they thought it was a good drill. It was a extremely heartening success for our, our chapter in terms of the ability to provide the requested direct services on scene. Uh, in addition to feeding the first responders, which was the official request, we also provided sheltering and snacking for the volunteers who were participating as victims in the exercise. Uh, so that was uh, a good opportunity for us. And the government liaisons got to 
feel what it would be really like to be in an incident command post. So our on-scene personnel really uh, felt fulfilled in terms of their requested mission. And the leadership back here at the office got to experience what it was like setting up a large-scale disaster operation in the initial hours, what they would have to take into account, uh, the, the rushed nature of it, and they really got to simulate that in an event that wouldn't be nearly as stressful as an actual event that we were trying to serve. The students had already been placed when I came around the corner and I stood there for a moment watching, thinking they started the moaning and, the, and all. And for a moment, you know, I still know this is a mock drill. But as it went on, um, Phoebe looked at me and I was crying. I was, had actual tears, even though I knew this was mock. It was so real and it made it so real to me what's going on on the other end of that radio. I have to give credit to TISD for making that a very realistic scenario. To, to come down in to the scene and to see the, the chaos that was created it was absolutely unlike anything I've ever seen before. And, and it made you feel like it was an actual event that was occurring. And, and so uh, there was that tension, that level of, of uh, uncertainness that was in the event, even though it was a planned event. And so it really created a scenario of, of chaos and, and it really was lifelike. I've been with the district 17 years in transportation. Um, the radio to me is that lifeline to that bus driver. And we really need to remember how important that radio is because that's the only communication they have. Yeah, they have cell phones, but they can't use them unless it is an emergency and they're stopped. But the radio and, and everybody pulling together and getting them help our police department, Tyler Police Department, you know, even ambulance. So to me, there couldn't have been anything wrong about that exercise that we did because everybody took something away from it, whether it was as emotional to me or just, wow, this could happen. The most important thing that we can learn from any drill uh, is that in the event of any disaster, we want to make sure that we are well trained and we are prepared for any eventuality. Um, so we always plan for the worst, we pray for the best. And I think in this situation, um, the, the best thing that occurred was the realism, the re realistic setting. Um, and to have to communicate in that, given that kind of setting uh, is difficult for people to follow their training when it is so uh, chaotic. The only thing I would say is that the students and uh, the visual and performing arts group, uh, George Faber and his staff, were superb. We have nothing but uh, high accolades from every one of the emergency services uh, with throughout Smith County that participated. From the realism of the, uh, the makeup for the injuries, the students acting and the way that they behaved, uh, they kept in role the whole time under very difficult circumstances because it was cool out that morning and it was raining. But just as with any emergency that occurs, it doesn't always occur in good weather. And the students were real troopers in making sure that this event was a huge success for Smith County emergency operations. By and large, it went very well, and I'm pleased. And um, thankful to all the agencies in Smith County, to Tyler SD, um, to the hospitals, and to all the emergency personnel that were involved. I think it was, uh, was a good drill.